Hi everyone, Boomer here, and I'm afraid there's a little bit of bad news. Um, the blue screening error that I was getting on, well, a long time ago with uh, the Star Trek Elite Force 2 LP has returned. And this point I really am at a complete loss what to do aside from like build a completely new PC which I am just simply not willing to do at this point in time um, you know as as much as I love doing the uh, let's play thing and as much as I love uh, doing the video editing and all the work is already you know all the work is already there which is kind of the most annoying thing about it is that you know the the work's done um, you know in terms of in terms of what needs doing in terms of work it's all done it's literally just a case of encoding the videos and my PC is not capable of doing that currently um, it is literally just, you know, it is literally, it's fine, as you can see, it's actually recording perfectly fine on the, um, uh, excuse me, I'll just figure this out, it's, it's actually recording perfectly fine if you, uh, you know, look at my, I mean, this is recording in 60 FPS. This is Star Trek Adversaries. It's a hell of a lot more graphically intense than Voyager Elite Forces, especially after they've done all these sort of nice shiny upgrades to it. But sadly, it's uh, it's not enough. Is the uh, way at the moment, and for some reason, this fault is now just it's intermittent and. It's something that I just cannot, for the life of me, I cannot um, figure out. And there's a lot of people I know have been looking at it. They can't figure it out either. So, you know, we, I really am at a complete loss as to where I can go from this point. So, of course, I will continue trying. Um, I'm not going to completely give up on it, but uh, we are probably going to approach a point very, very soon where you know it's just not worth putting in the amount of resources that I'm having to put in at this point. So, because at the end of the day, YouTube is you know YouTube is a nice thing, but YouTube is not my job, and you know the computer works sort of you know I say it works sort of fine it kind of does work fine at the moment as it is so you know aside from the issues that it has with um, aside from the issues that it has with obviously video encoding but I would have to have a net sink into this thing of like over a thousand pounds and I wouldn't make that back in like I wouldn't make that back in two years worth of doing YouTube so it's really and as I say if it, as long as it's functional at the moment it's really not worth it to me to go down that sort of route and I realise that might be disappointing to a lot of people um, I can definitely still do um, you know I'm definitely still, I'm just going to bag this off just so I can get uh, more pressure on the board um, you know, I can I can definitely um, I can definitely do sort of live action stuff. I'm using Nvidia Shadow Play here, and it seems to be absolutely fine. You know, there's no uh, I'm not having any issues with it. The computer seems to be running smoothly. So this really thanks is just a totally and utterly thanks, Barkley. This thing just is a totally and utterly just unbelievably difficult thing for me to be uh, dealing with. Um, is my opponent dead? Uh, 20 
So I've got 21 on board. He's on 23. Can I bump up my guys by two attack? Can I get something that does that? Uh, I have something which does one. Oh, that does it. One attack on here and one attack here. So that should kill my opponent. There you know. This is a sort of, you know, this is a game that I'm actually quite I will be quite happy to show you and it might actually work very well in a live environment. Um, and you know, this could definitely be something that I could look into in the future if people are interested in that. Um, it would certainly form a stopgap while I decide what to do in terms of uh, in terms of my actual channel. Or in terms of what I can do in terms of doing content which is pre-recorded. Now I love doing the pre-recorded and commentary stuff, but the truth is it takes a long time to do. And if I am if I can't encode, it's physically not possible for me to do it. I've tried like half breed measures with some of my videos. It just makes things more difficult and more drawn out. So what I will do for the moment is I will um, leave it at that for now. Uh, the Elite Force LP will remain on hold until I can resolve this encoding issue but I will uh, look into doing some more live stuff and if I can do that then we'll move down that road and we'll see how things go in the future so apologies for that guys um, believe me no one's more frustrated about this than I am but uh, hopefully things will uh, come to the good and I'll see you all soon thanks very much